The Scorch Trials, Chapter 53, on this PDF, page 175. Thomas didn't know if he was dead or alive, but it felt like he was asleep. Aware of himself, but as if through a haze, he slipped into yet another memory dream. Thomas is 16. He's standing in front of Teresa and some girl he doesn't recognize. And Eris. Eris? All three of them are looking at him with grim faces. Teresa is crying. It's time to go, Thomas says. Eris nods. Into the swipe, then into the maze. Teresa does nothing but wipe away some tears. Thomas reaches out a hand and Eris shakes it. Then Thomas does the same with the girl he doesn't know. Then Teresa rushes forward and pulls him into an embrace. She's sobbing, and Thomas realizes that he's also crying. His tears wet her hair as he hugs her tightly. You have to go now, Eris says. Thomas looks at him, waits, tries to enjoy this moment with Teresa, his last moment of full memory. They won't be like this again for a very long time. Teresa looks up at him. It's going to work. It's all going to work. I know, Thomas says. He feels a sadness that makes every last bit of him ache. Eris opens the door and beckons for Thomas to follow him. Thomas does, but manages to look back at Teresa one last time, tries to look hopeful. See you tomorrow, he says, which is true, and it hurts. The dream faded, and Thomas fell into the blackest sleep of his life.